Torres, extraordinary times are ahead for you. Extraordinary measures is what you have been doing. You've been going out of your way to make something happen. And now is the time for that to start happening for you. Let's take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Taurus. And I keep hearing you over. I just set aside everyone else so I could do your reading. I keep hearing tell Taurus extraordinary measures is bringing in an extraordinary time for you. So that's what I mean. The vision is showing me that you've worked really hard and no one knows what I'm talking about more than Taurus. You guys are excellent at creating a new foundation, at creating something that is solid and secure, whether that be building a house or creating a lifestyle that you love. And that's what I see it is for a lot of you is that lifestyle that you've been wanting. So through all it, oh, look at, we got the four of wands. This is a house. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am guided in these readings. I hear the messages, see the visions, and I tell you whatever they want me to tell in a general reading. It will touch some or part of your life, some of you, all of your life, and some of you need to check out your sun, moon, and rising sign to get a full ambiance of what's coming in the month of February. This Four of Wands is a new foundation, it's something very secure in your life, but it also had to be done through you creating a new internal foundation. This is getting all of your elements in order, your air, your earth, your fire, and your water, connecting to source, connecting to your higher self, and planting it into the ground underneath where you're at creating and lighting up a fire inside of you and for the last three to four years is what I'm seeing they're showing me three to four years where you may have not felt excitement about a whole lot of anything okay mostly about the things that were going on around you the people you were dealing with you yourself putting you in a two of swords position I'm not quite sure what direction to go. I feel blinded. I feel blindsided. Some of you may be thinking you were blindsided. But extraordinary measures is what pulls us out of this two of swords energy where we can move into something different, where we see beyond reality. And what I'm talking about isn't magic. It is about knowing who you're dealing with and knowing yourself. And when we come together with our divine masculine, inner divine feminine, these two sides of our brain, we can walk down the center and this is where you're usually at. Usually you know how to center yourself. So you get the home you want, you get the car, you get the job, you get the, the, the financial situation all squared away. But some of you were dealing with someone very, very toxic individual that you had to walk away from. This little devil, and it could have been a Capricorn, and most likely it was not. Whoever or whatever this situation was, was really restricting you and putting you in this Two of Swords energy. Feeling like you didn't know how to move forward. But the beautiful thing is, through all of this, you have the Eight of Wands that came out. And with this Eight of Wands is this beautiful new something and we're going to take a look at other areas of your life and this something is the page of pentacles a new offer a new opportunity creating a new financial secure way of investing working with an investor whatever it is that you're doing you feel alive again you feel excited you feel connected to yourself and you're connecting to other people around you so let's look at your career projects some of you are not working you don't want to work you're retired but you may be looking at a project whatever it is including education and i'll give you the messages that come with it now i do feel some of you made some financial investments that may have been a little risky remember extraordinary measures creates an extraordinary outcome and whatever it is that you've been doing look at that You've been working really hard on your finances, working hard in your job, in your career. You are been, you have just been through so much. You have the Nine of Wands energy. The Nine of Wands energy is feeling tired, feeling tired of dealing with this type of situation. You're just tired of overgiving. 
You want something stable. You want something solid in your life. And that's what you've been wanting. And once you get this, you're going to be able to move into a beautiful place. These are the extraordinary measures that you've been taking. You may be a leader amongst other people. And I feel, I'm being guided to say leader amongst leaders. So you may be a mentor to people or creating an... Uh, um, I want to call it a business, all right, whether this is a sole proprietorship or working as a freelancer or actually working under the umbrella of a corporation. You may be the leader in charge of mentoring a lot of people and showing them the way out. It doesn't mean that you have everything today. You may have and you may have lost it. You could have lost all of it and now you're rebuilding. But see, the beauty of this is you know exactly how to do it. You know what direction to take and how to start this new chapter of your life. And it is going to be incredible. Yeah, yeah, the Five of Pentacles. So with this Five of Pentacles energy, it's that loss that I'm talking about. Feeling left out, not feeling part of the community okay this is what your guides are saying community circle in your work environment community where you live you didn't feel like you were part of it you felt alone you felt isolated again going right back to this card of feeling like you didn't know what to do now that puts it right back in the beginning to that two of swords energy so now you're in a place right now where you become your own magician a magician doesn't mean that it's fake. It means that you know how to use your air, earth, fire, and water. The magician has to use all elements in order to create this magical illusion. But in life, it doesn't necessarily mean an illusion. It's a reality because you're changing your reality. You're turning what you had into what you want. That's the magic. That's where manifesting comes in. And I do know a lot of you guys know how to manifest. And you have for years. So whatever is going on in your situation, I see Grant, uh, not Grant, but a loan coming through. You've been asking for a loan and I feel it's been put on hold. It may have been since the beginning of January. You may have applied in January. Some of you, it may have been, you've been trying to get it since last January of 2023 whatever this is that you needed, the resources are coming in. The funding is coming in. Going to school, the funding is coming in. Somebody's also going to pay you out. I'm seeing somebody, and we're going to look at people right now, right now. Somebody owes you money, and because they're finally paying you back, you can invest that money and make it grow 10 times what you have been receiving. So it's really very, very positive energy for those of you who are um, working on a project. You know, I see somebody on the ground. <laughs> I see somebody on the ground and they're painting and they're like, whick, 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 whick. whatever you're doing, you're painting on the ground. This could be painting concrete. This could be painting artistry okay i feel it could be drawing on the sidewalk <laughs> you know it's it's going to be what's going on in your life you are creating you are inventing whatever you are creating whether it's concrete or not whether it's drawing a painting or not you have an opportunity to extend that and actually gain financial security through that particular thing and it's beautiful and the thing is the reason i giggled is because you love it you love what you do. And when you love what you do, you put your heart in it. You look good. You feel good. Everything is exciting when we do what we like to do. So that's what I feel for a lot of you when it comes to projects outside of the career itself. You're going to create basically a career. So let's take a look at the people around you. Family, friends. It can be your neighbor. It could be a co-worker, boss. And it may be romance. And I'll pull some cards at the end for romance as well. So, yeah, we got the nine of wands again. All right. Dealing with family has been really challenging. Again, somebody owed you money. Remember, I just said that. If this was a family or friend that owed you money, they're going to be giving it back. And giving it back, you believed in them and you've changed your perspective. And they've changed theirs. You may have been out of touch. 
for one to two years. Okay, it could be one to two months, but it doesn't feel like that. It feels much larger than that. One to two months may not make a huge difference. This makes a big difference, all right? Whoever this person is, they took from you. They took way too much, Eight of Pentacles. And now they're coming back in to give more. They're feeling free and independent, and you're feeling really good by the middle of February. You're starting to feel really at back in balance. You're feeling empowered again, like, I can do this. I can do this. It doesn't matter about that. I can go forward. You've got the Nine of Pentacles right after the Eight of Pentacles. This person is going to come in and they're going to share with you, and this is going to be life-changing for some of you. They're going to share with you what they did with that money. Now, they may have invested in something that you're going to invest in. They may have spent it, lost it. Whatever they did with it, it is going to change your life. And I do see... I do see where this family member was really struggling. They may have, or friend, whoever this person is, they were like on their knees. So they had dropped down really low and they needed your help. And now that they've been isolated and really built their life back up because of you, they're coming back in to say thank you. They're coming back in to give you what you gave them to help them get back up, especially if it was one to two years ago. Taurus, this is really a beautiful energy coming through where it is going to be life-changing. Whether they're paying you chunks of money or paying you with uh, one lump sum, it's still going to be life-changing. They may even be giving you things of value that when you sell it, it pays you back tenfold, right? And I keep seeing tenfold for a lot of you guys. Now that's one scenario and there are others, but um, the next one that I'm seeing is a group of children. Okay, you may have a lot of children around you and you could even be that your adult child went off with another group and left you alone. The investment that you put into them, especially if it had to do with education, I see it as education, that investment that you did, you may have felt like a loss. But here they come. Whatever they did, they are getting back more than what you gave. And they're handing it back to you. Pieces or in a lump sum, it's finally coming back to you. So I really like this reading. Now let's take a look. Oops, wrong deck. Let's take a look at your romance, okay? If you've been in a romantic relationship where you felt worn out, since that card keeps popping up, this is going to be a time where you finally start getting back what you were giving. Investments are coming back. Remember, extraordinary times come from extraordinary measures where you needed to take a step back in this relationship and really reflect on whether or not it was going to lead you in a direction that you like. You were way over giving to your partner. You gave too much. You or they did. Somebody gave way too much in this relationship and the other person did not give enough. And by taking a step back and isolating yourself with this hermit card, and that's what the hermit card means, is isolating yourself so you can get a better angle of what's going on. That is an extraordinary measure because most people are afraid to take a step back. But not you, Taurus. You're courageous. You are so unbelievably brave. It's it's incredible. You're changing your destiny. You, in this relationship, everything is changing. Now, you have come to a place in this relationship where things may, you may feel like it is ending. Okay, I've overgiven. I don't want to do this anymore. However, with this card, you're ending a cycle. This may have been a seven-year cycle for some of you, and it may have been a 10-year cycle for some of you. You can translate that into any length of time where you were overgiving and they didn't give enough. And you may be at the point where you're like, mm-mm. No, nope, I'm done. But yet the extraordinary measure isn't necessarily from you. It's from the other person saying, you know what? I see my wrongs. I realize you did all this for me. And now it's my turn to do this for you. Now it's your turn to go to school. It's your turn to have a job. It's your turn to whatever it is in your relationship. So I feel like this is a turnabout in this relationship. And it isn't because you're doing it. You already did it all. This is them coming in, 
saying they want it. Now, for those of you who are single, oh my goodness, you're getting ready to meet somebody who wants to put as much energy into a relationship as you do. I deal with people all the time. I'm giving readings all the time. And one of the biggest issues with people who are single, they go on one date and they feel they are in a relationship with that person. That is not true. You went on a date. There is no actual commitment to that person. You are both free to see and do whatever you want. You can see other people. You can go around with other people. And you know that. So I feel those are the type of people that you've been involved with, Taurus. Where they go out with you one time or you have a couple conversations and they're like, wait, I thought we were together. And it's like, well, what made you think that? You're changing. Your cycle is ending. Your bad luck streak when it comes to relationships is over. All right, you're getting ready to meet somebody who is going to give back to you. This person is very, very wise and they are equally as wise as you are. They have been through the same type of stuff as you have. So they get they get it. They get life. They understand what a healthy relationship is. And that's what you're going to fall in love with them. They're more grounded when it comes to creating a secure relationship. Where I share with you, you share with me. Where it becomes equally moving step by step into something that will last forever ever. It will lock the two of you in for the rest of your life. So it's a very, very beautiful energy. Now let's pull one more card for you guys. I'm so glad I stopped to do this reading because it just kept going on. I'm trying to do somebody else's reading, you know, another zodiac sign. And it's like it keeps going on and on and on. All right. Your last message is, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And that is is exactly what you've been doing. If you've been going through denial, you're seeing the truth. You're aware and awakened to what's going on around you, overgiving, not investing enough time in you or you and the other person. The change needs to happen. The fire needs to be lit. Your brain needs to be activated, feeling intelligent and connecting to earth and mother nature. When these things happen, your heart opens up. That denial is leaving, all right? And you know, because you've been through so much, Taurus, you know exactly what direction you want to go. So you are changing your destiny. Thank you for watching. Much love.